Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Well, good morning. It may be a foggy start to the day, but we do have a very nice afternoon coming our way with just an isolated rain shower to keep an eye out for as we go through the second half of today. But this fog is pretty thick in some spots, so you'll want to allow for a little extra time. Here in Drums, visibility is down to right around a mile, even less than that through some of the valleys. The temperature right around 59, so it's a little bit of a cooler start than what we've been used to. And temperatures are sitting in the 50s and really at best the lower 60s this morning. Pottsville, we're at 61. Mount Pocono starting off at 58. Sealands Grove, we're waking up to 60. And Wilkes-Barre and Scranton starting off at 59 this morning. The good news is, is it's only the fog. That would be causing a little slow going this morning. There's no rain to talk about, but an isolated rain shower still can not totally be ruled out this afternoon as we take this out for a wider view. There's our big storm system moving off to the east, but there's still an upper level disturbance in the atmosphere going to give us a couple of rain showers or at least try to as we go through today. Our main focus is going to be that area of high pressure way back in the Midwest. That will be building in over the next couple of days, and that is going to give us a beautiful stretch of weather really right through this weekend. Today, temperatures will be fighting to get near 80. Some of us will be more successful at that than others. Northern tier and higher elevations, I would not be surprised if we ended up staying in the 70s. A couple degrees amongst friends, though, really is not going to make all that much of a difference. Everybody is still going to be slightly below that average, which comes in right around 82 for today. And very comfortable this afternoon. Dew points are going to stay in the 50s, as they will for the next 48 hours. So the comfort index is looking good. It's not going to be until this weekend that we start to see that humid air begin to make a comeback. Let's talk about that isolated rain shower. You can see Futurecast hinting at that as we go through the late afternoon and going into this evening. Most of us, though, will find a majority of the day really, if not all of it, staying dry. An area of high pressure starts to build in tonight and through tomorrow. That will help keep the sunshine here with a little cloud cover that mixes in through the afternoon. But that does stick around going into Friday, so we'll keep that sunshine through Friday afternoon. And even going into the weekend, this is going to hang around. So that'll give us great weather for Saturday. But as it does dip down to the south a little bit, what we'll end up seeing is not only warmer air, but a little more humid air begin to make its way back on top of that. Near 80 for the high today in your eyewitness weather forecast. We are mostly to partly sunny and we'll just keep an eye out for that stray rain shower. The wind is at around 5 to 10 miles per hour as we go through today. The sun rose at around 550 this morning. Tonight we are down to 58 for the overnight low, mostly clear with a little patchy fog. The wind is relaxing. The sun will set at around 828 this evening. Tomorrow we're at 82, mixture of clouds and sunshine. Friday we're at 86 and we'll also mix clouds and sun. It's not very humid on Friday. Saturday and Sunday, though, that's when we really start to see that change. We're in the mid and the upper 80s. It gets a little more humid. Saturday looks mainly dry, if not totally dry. Sunday we'll have a late day rain shower, but the weekend looks great regardless. Monday and Tuesday we'll have some scattered showers and thunderstorms and we'll end up in the upper 80s as it does stay pretty humid. And the overnight lows get a little rough as well, mid upper 60s. So we'll have to start turning up the AC again or using the fans by the time we get to the weekend. And the Eyewitness Weather app can always be downloaded on your phones and tablets to get your latest updates on the weather. The forecast is always available for you at pahomepage.com. Just around 615 here on a Wednesday. And I forgot. The graphic, it's not queued up because I. Stefano! Yeah, listen, we just I'm, talked I'm, about yeah, it. Yeah, we just <laughs> talked about it. It's there, it's just not ready to go. Okay. I don't feel like getting up from the desk right now, so I'll give you the word. You can you're draw it. If guess you want. What, no, no, no. no, like no. My, my, my artistic yeah. skills are, 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 are not really in tune right now, so we'll make it easy for you. Fa fresco would mean what? We've done fresco before because I thought it was like a soda. Yes, like so the fresca. fresca. Thinking fresco. Which I was wrong. It's not a soda. Fa, fa fresco, you said? Fa, fa fresco. Fa, fa, fa Foggy. Fresco. No. Oh. It's humid. Cool. Oh. It's cool. It's cool outside. Fa fresco. Cool this morning. Fa fresco. Fa fresco. It's cool. Fa fresco. Fresh. Okay. To cool. Be, to be exact. It's very fresh outside mm -hmm. this morning. All right. Yes. Well, I, I can picture the graphic now. Yes. It I looks know. Great. It's beautiful, right? <laughs> it looks great. I know. All right. Thanks, Stephanie.